Okay, so following on from the statement from the government last Thursday, uh, we wanted to speak to the government about decision making in Northern Ireland. We need that to happen. I think everyone is crying out for decisions to be taken in Northern Ireland, so it's good to hear that the Prime Minister is looking at a range of options in relation to those matters. It is, of course, one year on from the Confidence and Supply Agreement as well, and we wanted to speak to her about how that was being implemented, and it's good to see uh, from last Thursday's statement that those matters are going to be dealt with uh, as well. Clearly, we obviously talked about Brexit uh, as well uh, before uh, the meeting that's happening uh, this Friday. And lastly, we are very much looking forward to welcoming the Prime Minister to Northern Ireland at our invitation, and we hope that that's going to happen relatively soon. Well, of course, we're all waiting for the judgment in the Buick case to come uh, so that we have more clarity in relation to those matters. Uh, but despite, in, indeed, we cannot just wait on that. We have to have a range of options looked at before that decision comes. And uh, it was uh, good to hear that the Prime Minister is looking at how she's going to take those range of options. Um, and uh, Northern Ireland needs decision making. We've been without it for 15 months and there's a range of issues, not least in health and education, where we need to have those decisions taken. No, she didn't go into any details. Obviously, we discussed that. We discussed the need to make sure that the European Union uh, have a cohesive position from the United Kingdom government, that the position of Northern Ireland should be very firmly uh, confirmed, that there will be no border down the Irish Sea. She was very strong on that point. There will be no breaking up of the United Kingdom economically, politically or constitutionally. Uh, but we wait to see what the outcome of Friday is. We want to see the best trade with the rest of the, uh, the European Union. We want the United Kingdom to have the ability to do free trade deals across the world. We have to come out of the customs union, the single market. Otherwise, we won't deliver on the control of our borders, control of our laws and control of our money. Can the Prime Minister the DUP? No, well, look, you know, we, we don't give blank checks to anybody, and I think it's very clear that we don't. On Brexit, we want to see a proper Brexit which fulfills the referendum result. But we've been very clear that it has to be on the basis of the whole of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union as one. There will be certain areas, like the single electricity market and so on, where there will be differences, but on the fundamental issues, it's the United Kingdom as one. Now, I'm confident that the Prime Minister will deliver on that. What is happening, of course, is that Leo Varadkar and the European Union governments are trying to bully and intimidate the UK government over the Northern Ireland border, using that to try to create an outcome over the overall Brexit piece, which is to their liking. Uh, they won't succeed in that. Can you, can you... Well, as we've always said, it's a talking shop. And I know others portray it in a different way. But uh, again, it's important that you go back to actually look at what the... The, uh, the intergovernmental conference is around and it's talking uh, about east-west matters. It doesn't have any executive functions. I think that's important. It doesn't have any executive functions. And whilst others might wish it to have executive functions, it doesn't. It's a talking shop. And I know everybody's getting very excited about it, but I'm sure there'll be other things that'll come around that'll be much more exciting on the 25th of July. Last question. Let, let's wait and see what actually is being proposed. I mean, some sort of custom, you know, some sort of thing. What does that mean? We need to see the detail of that before we can come to any conclusions on it. The Prime Minister has been very clear, even today, that we will not be staying in the customs union or the yes. single market. And I think it's uh, important also, from our point of view, that we actually are leaving uh, in March 2019. And the Prime Minister confirmed that today as well. Yes.